high drills and staff are given small knives to practice cutting down inmates who attempt suicide. Coming up tonight on News 4 at 11, hear from those on the front lines that are dealing directly with inmates who make these suicide attempts, Jim and Wendy. What a tremendous problem, those numbers you've shared. That's just incredible. There are efforts to divert more people with mental health conditions out of jails and prisons, but it seems impossible to get them all into mm -hmm. other places, so they are on the yeah. front lines in jails. And what this woman who you just uh, interviewed, the, the last thing she just said, uh, you know, you don't help them by punishing them and putting them in a cold cell. That's not... That's not, they need to change. Sounds like they need to change their culture a bit. Sure. Not the universally true for all correctional agencies, but there is sure. a concern that in some jails, if you say you're suicidal, they're going to put you in a place you don't want to be. Exactly. Make it worse. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And you already have enough to spare yeah. because you're in jail. Scott, thanks so much. Really enlightening. Thank you. If you know someone who may be in need of help, we invite you to visit the Changing Minds section of our NBC Washington app. In there, you'll find links to resources in your area. Let's get another check from Doug and Amelia about this rainy forecast and what it looks like for the yeah. future. Light rain right now, but that's going to change, right? Yeah, we're going to see uh, periods of heavy rain as we move on through parts of tonight and into the day tomorrow, too. And that really ends this long five-day period of extremely heavy rainfall. Hopefully tomorrow is it. We get a break Thursday, Friday, mm -hmm. even on into the weekend. The sunshine comes uh, out, but then we see more rain next week. Yeah, we do. Let's take a look and show you what we're dealing with out there right now. Storm Team 4 radar showing the rain, the heaviest of which back towards the Blue Ridge, back toward the Shenandoah Valley. But you notice what's coming through the D.C. metro area. Most of this is on the light side, but even here we're seeing a couple of downpours. We've got one right along 270. 270 this time of day. Yeah, never a nice, uh, nice go of things. You can see that right here around the Rockville, Gaithersburg area. More showers, mostly light down around Waldorf and Quantico. Some heavier rain back along the I-81 corridor, Winchester towards Martinsburg. This is an area that has seen a couple of heavier storms during the day today and a couple of heavier showers. I'll zoom in on this one in the, the uh, Gaithersburg area coming right through Gaithersburg. Here's the 370 split right here in 200. As you make your way out the uh, the uh, intercounty connector here, you can see some heavy rain moving right towards the Gaithersburg area, Montgomery Village. So if you live there, get ready. That rain's moving your way. Now, a lot more rain to go, but right now the heaviest well down to the south. We see some light rain, steady rain, but light rain coming through. I don't see a whole lot of storms moving our way just yet. That, I think, though, will change during the day tomorrow. That's why we have that flash flood watch in effect till 6 o'clock tomorrow evening for just about the entire area. The only exception are western, uh, far western counties in West Virginia. So far, D.C., 8.5 inches of rain, another 1 to 3 inches possible in some spots. Some locations could pick up even more through the end of the day tomorrow. 8.5 in D.C., some others have received a lot more than that. With a little bit more on the how much we've seen around the area. Let's go over to Amelia. Well, Doug, Baltimore seen enough rain that this is now the wettest July there on record. For the most part across our area, we've seen about 6 to 12 inches of rain since last Tuesday. More information on that on my Facebook and Twitter pages. This is the top 10 wettest July here in Washington, and it's the wettest seven-day stretch for July as far as rainfall amounts go. And again, we're going to see more rain in the forecast tomorrow. So we're dealing with wet roads out there tonight tomorrow morning for that commute and tomorrow evening as well. I'm seeing the heaviest rain tomorrow actually around the midday afternoon and potentially evening hours unlike what we saw today with the heaviest rain out there in the morning. Not only are we dealing with rain but humid conditions as well. It's feeling muggy and oppressive out there and that's going to continue through your Friday. Now the good news as we head on into the weekend we start to feel a little bit better. Only a little bit humid out there on Saturday and Sunday. Actually feeling really nice out there on Saturday overall. So here's what you need to know. We know that one of our cameras is out uh, there in the background. That's why it's black. But we're going to have more rain at times into Wednesday evening. Doug, we get somewhat of a break Thursday through Sunday. But then we have more rain and muggy conditions again next week. Now the good news next week, we're not going to pick up as much rainfall as we saw this week. But still, it's not what we want to hear as we close out July and look to the beginning of August. Yeah, and even next week, uh, you know, we're predicted a couple of inches of rain, but any one location could pick up some very heavy rain next week as a similar pattern begins to set up. Now, high temperature tomorrow, 83 degrees. Thursday and Friday, we're upper 80s to low 90s. The heat index into the mid-90s, so some extreme heat there again as far as the humidity is concerned. A little bit less humid on Saturday. That's with the frontal boundary coming on through here. That puts us back into the mid-80s, and once again, that rainy pattern sets up for just about all of next week. Everybody asking, uh, Doug, when's it going to end? Uh, <laughs> September, I think, yeah, uh, maybe October.